Hello friends, today we, I'm, I'm going to help you uh, in deciding that what topic you should choose and formulating and clarifying the research topic which is very important for the PhD and MS students that what, how they should be working or you know understand that what area is good for them to work on because it's the most important thing when you enter into your PhD uh, you know course how would you be dealing with that that is very important sometimes people wander between the topics like if uh, you're an hr student you must you sometimes want to work on leadership you sometimes want to work on emotional intelligence you can work on team working or motivation there are a lot of things you know so you need to choose that what you want to work on and you carry on your stuff throughout the life so let's go on a first slide the first slide says that research topic uh, the most important thing is that you should choose a topic which must be appealing to you and you can work on any time it at night in morning at lunch at noon any time in evening or anywhere like you know that must be appealing to you that's more important thing and the second you should have interest in it even you know the time is over maybe months are gone but you should have interest in it right and you should have an idea what you want to work on because this is a very important thing and I, I don't want to go the story what I have given you right here, but I'm gonna bring to the next slide a little bit of a good topic. The topic must be like you know meeting the requirement of your examining body or what your tutor or your supervisor is trying to give you. You must correlate your topic with that thing because this is the most important thing, and you must respond or have some conversation or suggestion from your supervisor and you know have some consultation. And in addition to that, your topic must be capable of undertaking because this is what important thing are required is. And a topic must be of interest. It must produce some work, valuable work. And a second, financial resources and time. You must have enough time and financial resources to finish that topic because PhD is a very limited time. So you may not have enough resources, financial resources and time. So you must think of it don't take a big topic which you are not going to cover in your PhD right and think of the possibility that can it be completed in a time and a second uh, one of the more important reasoning is do you have access to the data the last point which I'm going I'm trying to explain is do you have access to the data that's the most important thing right and the next slide says that um, the topic must be capable to be linked to the theory yeah, your topic must be relevant with the theory, right? It should have a link to theory. That's what I'm going to say. And most project tutors will argue that the attributes of a good topic is clearly defined research questions and objectives. Your topic should have clear research questions and objectives. Even when you're working on a topic, you must note down the questions and objectives. Why are you working on that topic and what it's going to contribute to the literature or the theory or something else? So why you're working on it? You should have questions and motivations for this. And in end, the most important thing is that you must consider your career goals because you are going to work on it throughout your life. So consider this is very important thing. You know, you have to do the research on that area, you know, in the future for maybe 10 years or 20 years if you have interest in your research. And th th there are a lot of, you know, um, um, the attributes of a good research topics, a checklist, you should consider it like, is it really fascinated? You can develop some skills and do you have a skills to undertake it? Is it achievable? Is it current with you when you are finishing it? And research is financial resources are available. Uh, you know, you're able to take uh, the data. Are, are, do you have access to the data? And is it worthwhile? You already have a huge checklist, like, you know, does your research topic relate clearly to the idea that you have given? Uh, specifications, examining institution, your supervisor, and, and uh, you know, is it linked to the theory? That's the most important thing, you know, are you able to state your research questions and object that I mentioned you earlier? To solve the research, and does it meet your research career goals? So that's the research, uh, you know, topic. Now, generating research idea, maybe in the next session, uh, in the next uh, video, I would help you that how to generate your research idea. That's very important. But before that, I want to go back and I told you that you should have my, in mind what are the good attributes of a good research topic.